Hello, it's time to play some Infra Arcana. Infra Arcana is a free roguelike that you can just download off the official website for Windows. That's the version I'm playing. I think it's also either for, for Mac or, or Linux. I forget which. Uh, it's open source, though, so you can download the, uh, the source code and compile a version for whatever OS you want to run on. Uh, in theory, I am just going to start a new journey. This is the pre-Thanksgiving build. Pretty new. Got some nice little adjustments in it. I'm playing the War Veteran. That's sort of the the closest thing to a, a Rambo style you can play, and that suits my sort of very foolish style of play. Uh, I, I still have not gotten very good at this game, but I'm working on it. Uh, last time I went for Ignoring Shock... And uh, predictably, that did not work out super well. Shock uh, is sort of a mental state that builds up as you go through these spooky levels for your character. And uh, if they get too much shock, they will start to go insane. And uh, that has negative consequences. So I'm going to take Cool Headed. That gives me a little more resistance to shock. And that lets you explore a little more. Uh, what is my war veteran this time out? About third. Lieutenant, um, Bilson. Hello, Bilson. Bilson has a, a chopper. It's a machete. And a Colt pistol. And a flak jacket. Got a medical bag. Some extra mags of ammo for the pistol. Some dynamite flares, molotovs, smoke grenades. I never use them, smoke grenades. I, what's it really say here? Smoke screen for concealment. But you would have to put the gas mask on. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, they're, they are really heavy. I should just drop them. I don't... I'm not smart enough to use them. Ah, well. Let's get going. I should search for secrets. Oh, wow, there was a secret. Right in the starting room. How about that? So, I got some XP for finding that. You don't get XP for killing monsters in this game. You get XP for finding things. That's a, that's the only way you, you level up, is finding things. So I'm going to kick this stuck door. Hey, I didn't even sprain my ankle doing it. I usually do. Wow, a reanimated corpse on level one. Okay, reanimated corpses are basically zombies. See, I got XP for that. I Oh dear, I hit the wrong button. And, um, I mean, I probably would have done that anyway, but now there's a cultist behind me. See, I meant to hit this button to examine the zombie. It's the V key. But the other roguelike I've been playing is Dungeon Call Stone Soup, where the examine key is X. So I keep getting those mixed up with rather terrible results. Uh, a cultist... And in both games, you hit V once you've actually targeted the character you hit V in both games so I always uh, I, I'm bad at it because you have to hit X first in dungeon crawl um doesn't say what gun he, oh it's a sawed off so that guy is that guy could kill me in one shot so I'm going to switch to my pistola and I'm going to shoot him with it see now 90% hit chance there, whereas if I was going to melee him... Oh, I didn't need to do that. I can just examine with V. V again, and it'll tell me 70%. So I have a 20% better chance, even though I'm point blank, 20% better chance of hitting him with my pistol than with the the, the machete. That I, I guess that's by design, because the... I was discussing this with people in the Discord, and, and the the creator, the author of this game was right there, and he was like, yeah, use pistol more. I was like, okay, it doesn't make sense to me, but okay. In fact, if I had another uh, melee weapon, like a mace or something, I would probably be more, I would probably have a better percentage to hit throwing that secondary, or I could even throw this machete at him. I would I would have a better chance to hit throwing this machete at him. Actually, maybe I can even do that as a T, I better hit the wrong key on check. I think it's T to throw. T to throw. 
throw the machete. Am I going to have to commit to that? <laughs> Maybe I don't want to do that. But I bet you I would have a better chance to hit with throwing the machete uh, than I would swinging it. It's it's a little bizarre to me. That's the way it goes, though. And F is fire. Y yes. I just played this two days ago, and I can't even be sure about that. But I was right. All right, so I got to kill this cultist real, real quick. He's dead. I'm infected by the reanimated the reanimated corpse, aka zombie. That's that's okay. Now, granted, it would be a sh more sure thing to kill him with a pistol, but he's almost dead. He's the only one here, so no problem. Wow, I missed. He hit me. This is going poorly. Yeah, well, I guess machetes. I guess I am terrible with melee weapons, which is too bad because I like melee weapons. Um, is there a corpse here? A cultist corpse? Yes, it's hidden under the shotgun. You want to you wanna smash corpses because in this game, corpses can be reanimated by certain creatures. Uh, or certain creatures' as corpses can reanimate themselves. Probably not this cultist, but somebody could probably come along and reanimate him somehow. So I'm going to smash his... Ugh, that was... Um, now I have to heal my infection with the medical bag. Easily done. And now I have a sawed-off shotgun. The question is, do I want to switch to this over my pistol? Um, well, I will for the moment because... Oh, no, it's already loaded. Okay. Uh, I mean, see how much damage that does. They're pretty short range... Yeah, shorter effective range. And of course it only holds two shots at a time. I think I'm gonna go with the pistol for the first level or two. Uh, but then we'll pr probably start seeing tougher enemies. Anyway, I'll, I'll stick with the pistol for now. Okay, so it's a jammed gate. I'm gonna not open that just yet. See the rest of this. Uh, that's the wrong. I'm on the wrong part of the keyboard. Hey, a revolver. That's good. Oops. I shouldn't. I should not make all that noise. The monsters will hear me. Lots of stuck gates and doors. I just went, I, oh. I mean, they know I'm here right now if there's anybody in there. Well, this is a lot of doors. Oh, and there are two. I didn't mean to do that. This is a disaster. Okay, I have to kick this. I sprained myself. Spraining just means you take a hit point of damage. I should really have healed. Why am I not? I'm going to get some of my hit points back by waiting here. Hitting the period key to to pass turns. All right. Hey, now this is a a usable device. Uh, what's the key for zapping a rod? Oh, it's probably just A. A for activate or apply. I don't know why it doesn't say activate at the top. That always confuses me. I guess because of medical bag. I don't know. Anyway, lithium rod. Can I use this? I Historically, my war veterans have not been great at using rods. I vanish from the minds of my enemies. A rod of cloud mines. Wow, okay. It, it'll take 90 turns to recharge now. That's what rods... That's the difference between a rod and any other kind of... Uh, stick, I guess, in, in fantasy games, for instance. Rods, um, they don't have a fixed number of charges. They just they just take a certain number of turns to, to recharge themselves, and then you can just fire it again, then it'll have to recharge again. Clouds the memories of all creatures. Oh, so, oh, that's interesting. That would be very useful if I was playing a stealthy character. I'm terrible at stealth. I may still end up having a use for it. You never know. Although the question is, 
So they would have to not be seeing you. It didn't aim it, so it just happens to all the... All creatures in the area, but it doesn't tell you what the range is. So you would have to be kind of hidden from them and use it. Like they would have had to see you, then you duck around a corner and, and use it. So I can search this cabinet. Pick up a murky potion. Okay. Now, I've tr been trying to play correctly and not just chug every potion I find to see what happens. It'll sit in my inventory, and uh, after a while I will be told if it is a bad potion. I'm not sure you're ever told if it's a good potion, so I'm not sure if this is a really great strategy. Oh, dang. Well, that's interesting. The flasks and things disappeared off the icon. Well, shoot. What the heck? But that ain't no wolf, is it? What is that? Uh, this could be bad. A creature. I don't like there being a creature there. I'm going to back away. Is it just a wolf? I think it was just a wolf. Now, let's check the, uh, the hit chance. I didn't need to switch to the thing. You can just do this. 50% melee. That's terrible. How about the gun? So the war veteran is just not actually very good in melee. Um, uh, 50 versus 70. Of course, guns take ammo. You have a fair amount of ammo with the pistol. Ooh, was that door always? Yeah, I guess it was. That was weird. It was like the wolf just transmogrified into a door. Oh, there wasn't a corpse. 65%. It got me. I didn't kill it. I can't see what its health is. So this was a poor place to make a stand because I cannot... This is weird. Why can't I see that wolf when it's... There's some weird visibility stuff going on here. Like that one at the top is maybe because it's in the darkness? Shoot. Come out of there, wolf. So now I can see him now that he's on the other side of the door. What was that all about? Not really sure. Shoot. I hit it, but... And I don't see a health meter on this one. Is that normal? Was any of this normal? Only 50%. 55. 60. Take the shot. One, one bullet left in the mag. Is that it? Is that the whole pack? Should I dunk over this statue? I really, you can, you can kick these statues over. I, I wish, uh, I wish you could find things in them. Then, then, you know, it would be like licensed to kick. I guess I'll leave it. It's a work of art. Um, oh, snakes. I do hate snakes. I'm having major visibility problems here. I guess that next room is pitch black. Oh, the Mamba. 70% hit chance versus 50. Dang. See, the question is, like for my next level, if I get to another level, I could take a skill to to uh, give myself 10% better melee uh, hit chance. But is that even worth it? I didn't know melee was so, I didn't realize before that, oh no, that melee is so crummy. But now the question is, do I reload or do I switch to melee? I'm just gonna, I don't wanna give him a free turn. Take that, wow. 
Okay, so I, I got him. I guess my, my little combat rolls paid off. Reload the cold. Yeah, it's pitch dark in here. My shock is up to 51%. It goes up 20% in a dark area. Hey. My rod is charged. Now, I think you can spot secret panels from one tile distant, so you don't have to be right next to a wall to find a secret panel in it, I think. Not sure. The door, I couldn't tell it was stuck until I got right up to it. This is a very elongated route that I've gone through here. Now I see better players, they'll make a noise outside a door before they open it. I, and I think maybe they wait a little bit. They, they want to make sure that there's no enemy lurking right inside. I think because if you got ambushed point blank by a cultist, that could be game over. I think that's what's going on. Okay, so we've connected back here. It's the middle route. Oh, this is just going to the stuck door. All right. Well, holy. That's right. He made it automatic to kick a door if you move into it. I That was actually my suggestion. Um, I'm not 100% sure I like that because I didn't actually mean to do that there and it scared me. Uh, but I, I guess I guess it's probably cool. I was just annoyed because I kept finding all these stuck doors and every time I always had to fish around for the kick command and push the direction after selecting it, and it seemed like a bit of an unnecessary pain. But then I just accidentally kicked a door, but you could accidentally attack monsters, so it's just something that I forgot. So I've, oh, I've let a door, okay, that's good. The monolith is good. Rat thing. This is some cool sound. Get away from my monolith rat thing. Don't don't spray your blood on it. So you get 20% XP for touching a monolith. So that's good. I have never found a monolith that was bad. Which is good, because there are things in the dungeon that are usually good, but are sometimes bad. And that's always very depressing and, and sucky. But not so as far as I've seen with monoliths. Okay, I am not searching efficiently. That was terrible. Now, I think if I leave this in here, it will figure something out about it. But see, like, I've had this potion for a while. Nothing's... My brain is not figuring the net thing out. I don't know how long it's supposed to take or if it tells me. Because, so, the last time I played, I had three potions. It figured out one and said it was, uh, you know, a, a not a good potion. Or whatever. It was a little clear. Basically that it was a bad potion. Don't drink this potion. Um... But the other two, I don't think it figured out. So the implication was that the other two were good potions. But it didn't change their status or anything. So maybe it never figured it out. I, I don't know. There is a cultist. It looks like he's just carrying a dagger. It doesn't say he's carrying a gun, and his little icon has a dagger instead of a, the usual gun. So I guess I can just gun him from here, which is no problem. The chance 80% versus 60%. I guess I'll spend the bullet. There's his dagger. can use that to, uh, to throw. Oops. Come on out, rat thing. 95% hit chance at this range. That seems pretty good. Oh, it's because he doesn't see me. That's right. See, that blue field around him means that he does not see me. So he was just dawdling along, and I blasted him. Oops, didn't see that one. Myself. More stuff to search. 
Muddy potion, okay. What did I I hit the space bar instead of yes, so it didn't pick it up. Huh, but then since it did that I got uh shift P P no Ah Oh it's M? No, shift M. I searched the I found a money potion plus eight percent. Hmm, I don't know. I thought maybe I got double XP or something I, for finding. I don't, I don't know. I didn't. Okay. There's the stairway down. My shock's at 59. I should be able to get back to that. Other way I did not explore. Ah, oh, I screwed that up. I should be using shift to run. Hey, where did you come from? Gosh dang it. Why are you, why am I, are you having such trouble seeing these wolves? That's a little concerning. And here, if I move forward, he'll have a chance to attack me, so I guess I have to spend a turn. I don't want to try shooting at him now because it's it doesn't tell you what your hit chance is, and it's probably bad since you can't see him clearly. So there we go. Ah, oh, jeez. Shoot. Out of ammo. These wolves, man. All right, well, got a potion out of that. Ah, um, and I think I explored the whole gosh dang level. And with some shock to spare if I get out of the dark area. See, the shift D does not work. It looks like a capital D, but it actually wants you to hit lowercase d. That's a, um, it's a minor sort of bug. Let's, um, do we do? Just want to save a screenshot of this. My ancient version of Photoshop. Okay. Lowercase d, not uppercase d. So your shot clears when you get down a level. I'm close to leveling my character up. Let's go this way. And then I'll get to pick a new trait. AKA ability, uh-oh, blinded zealot. These guys are tough, they don't have guns and they're blind. So he doesn't see me coming. Now, actually, what? That's interesting. It doesn't say what my chance to remain undetected by him is. Usually it does. Uh, for other creatures, anyway. Well, I just have to shoot the poor blind. Well, they're crazy psychos, so I can't feel too bad for him. 
crazy homicidal psychos. Oh dear. Oh, there's another one. Well, that's just a regular cultist. Okay, calm down. Dang it, I am not shooting great here. Oh no, I got that one. He was instantly replaced by the blinded zealot. I always sort of miss that transition. Well, I got wounded, but I can fix that with my trusty medical bag. Uh, I forget, when you're wounded, you have some negatives applied to some of your things you, your character is trying to do. And wounds, if you let them stay, they'll fester and get worse. You don't want to do that. Okay, I'm up to 90% XP for, to level up. I'm gonna, gonna pass a few turns here to get some... Uh-oh. Well, she's... Ow. Ow. This is real bad. Did I just run out... And I just ran out of ammo with my revolver, or my pistol. So I, uh, I am going to die if I don't do something, but I guess I could make him forget me with the rod because he I have to get away from him a little which may not happen and I don't think I can pick these up right now yeah, I'm not going to get away from him, am I? I could kick him. Oh, I got away from him. So let's try the rod. No, no, no. Activate. Rod. Yeah, he forgot me. Sweet. But is he going to wander this way anyway? Well, boy, I don't know what the best thing to do here is. I mean, I, I could get out the sawed off and then... Give him a taste of that. That's probably the safest play at the moment. Ah, he, he wandered off the other way. Well, that rod was pretty cool, actually. Oh, he came back. 98% hit chance with the sawed off. Might as well take it. I did feel slightly sorry for him. Wait, he's not dead. 75% now. Shoot. <sighs> Only three shots left with that. Spiked maces are good. Although it's even worse chance to hit, but um, I already have. Oh, now normally I would have had a, a, a hint come up here saying if if you you can unload a weapon on the ground by hitting U or G or Shift G. Um, but uh, there's a new feature in this version, these these last couple versions that that will only give you a hint once per installation of the game instead of once per character. So that that was nice. Uh, I already have the revolver, right? So yeah, just unload it from there. Get those bullets. Get those bullets. Another spiked mace. Is that the same damage? 3 to 15? Yes. So... Let's go back to my pistol. Yeah, I guess instead of the revolver... I'm actually running low on pistol ammo, on Colt ammo. In fact, these are my last seven Colt bullets. And switch to the machete, and then switch back here, and then switch to the uh, 
spiked mace, which has a worse, even worse chance to hit, but it does more damage and it can stun the victim, which has a pretty good chance to stun, actually. And in practice, we, last time certainly was stunning a lot. So we'll take that. And now I'm going to... Is there a... There's a wait five turns command, right? Yes. Shock goes up while I'm pressing S to wait five turns. Well, the rod's back. That's good. See, that doesn't... That doesn't help me as a noob. I don't know. So it, anyway, that means it's good. Or it means it's not bad. But it doesn't tell me enough about it to be able to depend upon it to save my uh, my my bones, you know? So should I just read one? I mean... Because, yeah. I'll just read it. Manuscript of healing. Okay, well, that got me my last bit of health back. So that was... That was enchantment? All right. I guess that figures... Oh, I have wound. Cheapers. Ugh. And the potion's benign. Wound is healed. Good. Boy, my medical bag has come in handy already. That says med supple 15. What? I only have 15 uses of it left. Gosh, I've used it so much already. When that thing runs out, I'll be in some some trouble. That's an interesting color selection there. This is like, that means it's on top of something. It's on top of Rusty Chain, so I would have to make noise to grab that. That's good uh, sucker bait. I'll grab that once I can check out the room. A very tiny room, in fact. That was bad searching, bad search pattern. Moldy potion. So one potion was cleared. Benign. Okay, so it does get a benign tag. That's good. But that doesn't tell me what it does, so I'll probably have to chug that thing just uh, when I'm in a safe area like now. I could chug it now, right? Now? 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 Should I chug it now? Oh, it's not cloth. I always want to hit cloth. Oh, my stupid phone's making noise. I should I'll muffle it in my pocket. Hopefully you didn't hear that. Little noise. Um, activate this clotted potion that is benign. Potion of curing. All right. Well, now, now I have narrowed down that one offshoot. That's good. There were way too many pads going off here, and I was feeling nervous about it. Oh, jeez. Oh boy. How big is this room? Jeez. Ah. Uh, okay. I stepped on a trap and then there's another trap there. I hit P, and then I disarm hitting period. I disarm the trap I was standing on. If I hit P again and disarm to the southeast, I disarm that one. Well, that, that worked out okay, I guess. Two Molotovs, that's good. We got a snake swimming around in shallow water, spitting cobra. 98% chance. I've missed on 
chance. That's always a, a little depressing. Well, it's going okay so far for Bilson. He's almost leveled up. The rate of discovery has slowed down here, but... Here we go. Oh no, I already saw a corpse earlier. Ah, more wolves. Oh, shoot. Shoot. He got up real fast. So that's what the, the zombies can do. They can reanimate themselves if you don't crush their corpse. But that only gave me one... See, I'm tempted to go around to that other door now and try to get him unawares, but I bet that reanimated corpse is going to come back here. Oh boy, did he? And he brought a friend. Shoot. 60. That one didn't leave. I wonder if that was the re-reanimated one. Oh, yeah, my ammo. Uh, okay, I guess I'll switch to my revolver, the revolver I found. Which does less damage, but is more accurate, is that right? Yeah. I like how the rat thing's a little yellow being next to the torch. Pop. Good sound effects in this game. There's a gong. There's a what seems to be a running joke in the Infra Arcana Discord, which uh, you'll find linked from the front page of the Infra Arcana site, and that's where the author likes to hang out and, and talk with people about the game and hear, take suggestions. Um, but the running, I think, joke there is that a few, there's even a bot who will say, if you say gong in the Discord chat, the bot will say gong or something like that. But the joke seems to be that people will say, no, you have to activate every gong you find. Well, the deal with gongs is, uh, seems to be, as I discovered to my detriment, that if you gong a gong, you will, it will, you will be granted a special magical artifact that has some interesting use but you also acquire a permanent negative status uh, effect. So the two I got a couple sessions back, one time, one gong I hit blinded, no, deafened me for the rest of the session, because I, I didn't, well, and then the other one uh, cursed me for the rest of the session, both of which were pretty, pretty either depressing or very negatively affecting my ability, my character's abilities. Uh, status effects, if you last long enough, you can get to later on, you'll find like blessings, things that give you blessings that can cure such ailments. But um, I didn't live that long, partially because the effects were not helping me. So I am not going to touch gongs from now on, I don't think. So I wonder why they're even in the game if that's going to do that to you. I think it should not be a permanent status effect. I think it should, you know, just last the normal length of time that the status effects last. 50% chance ain't great. Oh, what? There's a... Oh, okay. This is going to be good. Uh, he sees me. Dang. Oh, come on. Oh, no, I can st Well, no. Come on. Come up here. Come up here, big guy. Ah. Okay, maybe I just have to wait a turn right here. Come on. Yeah. Kick the brazier over. And now there's a flaming snake coming at me, but he's almost dead. 
And you need to hit, dare I, 98% chance with melee. I, I should be able to get this with my, yeah, well, with my uh, spiked mace. He's a goner. Thump. Uh, and that thing is a an altar. So if I have a scroll that I wanted to use, I could use it to create a effect next to the altar, something like that. But I don't really. But there's a stairway down, so this is a good, good place to know. Now that I will save that tomb. I will save for when I'm leaving because sometimes very nasty spirits that are invisible to me come out and I just have to run anyway. didn't go off so I can disarm it by hitting period P to disarm then direction I hit period because it was under my feet uh, should I explore the connection first no because there's still another way back there but I might not get that far well oh, hmm hmm Actually, that's interesting. You notice you can't tell by, for instance, the edge of the map being close to the edge of the screen necessarily that this is the edge of the map. If you know what the in what the map generator uses, which is this is what the designer said, I think on the Discord, he said that the the, the map generator generates maps on a three by three grid, three by three room grid. So it sort of looks like we're in the upper left of a three by three room grid, which would it, it would imply that there are no secret doors that we would find on the north or west walls here in this northwest corner because we, we must be on the upper left corner of the, the three by three grid, so there couldn't be any more rooms beyond those. <clears throat> it's a little little meta gaming, I guess. I kinda did this wrong. All right. Now my shock's up to 82 because it's dark. Real dark. That's good to have. Hatchet. So you don't get XP for just discovering a new type of item. 3 to 7 damage. Very accurate, though. I can throw it. I could get it to throw at people. I do have my machete to throw. I wonder which would be more accurate. Well, we could find out. And that is that, except for that one square in that hallway in the middle north. Well, that's probably all right. Well, I do have plenty of shock left, except there is a, a, duh, a dark room in between. Oh, this is a revolver, so I can reload it any time instead of having to swap entire magazines, so I should really be on top of that. Yeah, I don't think I need to investigate that one hallway square. Okay, well that's it for depth two. I'm at 99%. I didn't discover much at all. There's this big central zone. This is a dark area. It's a 
Did I miss a secret door here somehow? Possibly I did. In that room next to me, I don't know if I searched the, the north wall. Well, I don't think I have enough shock to come back through that dark. I mean, I could use the lantern, I guess. Oh no, there's the tomb to deal with. I, I forgot about this. Let's just go and do this. Uh oh, I think something bad did come out. But I got a yellow potion, so there's probably, I got to level two. And I'm gonna take, I think I can use my VI keys here. Yeah, cause there's no letters for the VI keys on the list. Um, rapid recoverer. That should be helpful. See, the, the keys in that list were for yes, no, or uppercase, but you actually hit the lowercase key. So he's just established this kind of inconsistent. <clears throat> well, it's consistent with those menus that you don't hit a shift key, and it actually the main menu works that way too. Ah, uh, I guess there isn't. I guess you sort of get that feeling. It's, uh, that's fine. So I am a level two, and now I am at depth three. Don't really like these little prison cell areas. It's kind of, I kind of feel like they're boring. It just it feels like they're just here to drain my movement turns. Close that for now. XP there. Oh, it's a hand. Oh, that's a bad chance. Whereas, oops. I, I think it's in the dark. 20% chance to hit it. It's just like in a very dark spot right there, I think. You gonna come after me, Hand? It did. It already tried to hit me. I guess they're very fast, is that right? Move fast, yeah. Wow, uh, what was the 20% still? Ah. What else does it say? It doesn't tell me how much damage they might do, I guess because I don't know that. It hasn't tried to hit me yet. Um. Well, it's not a great hit chance on this thing. Should I just waste turns whacking at it with the with the big clunker? That's an even worse chance. My ammo situation is not looking great. In fact, it's looking pretty bad. So I guess I'd better. Have I hit it at all? Miss, miss, miss. Nope. Is my hit chance still 20? No, it's 10% now. Well, that's bad. What about... F uh... Uh, only eight, eight shots left with this thing. I didn't realize those things were so evasive. Okay, well. 
wasn't it wasn't an evil fountain. That's good. Oh, yeah, get that. Because I have a flak jacket, but they... Oh, I'm overburdened. They, uh, they can get ripped up. All right. Uh, I'm going to ditch the smoke grenades. What else? I guess the flak jacket's pretty heavy. But that could definitely come in useful. I'm out of Colt ammo, so I might as well just ditch the Colt. I mean, that sounds heretical, and like, what if I find a, a magazine for a Colt later and not another Colt? Well, you just gotta take your chances, I suppose. Anything else I should drop now? Oh, I have a hatchet and a machete. The machete would probably do a lot more damage when it's her own. The hatchet doesn't weigh anything, so I should ditch the machete, though. All right, well, all that lightened the load significantly, I think. Weight 82, yeah. All right for a while. I sure have a lot of muddy potions. Get to work on those, brain. Mm, see, this is where I'm suspicious that I'm not seeing anything. Oh, there was a potion there after all. I should really use shift to, to move down those corridors because if you get distracted or something and a monster pops up right in front of you and you hit multiple times into it, you could attack it before you realize what's happening and that could have been a bad move. Another sawed off. Well, I don't exactly want to pick it up. If I say no, is it just going to go on? Oh, I might as well then say yes. Um, now I have to drop it. Oh, there's nothing in it. Okay. Drop. T. Man. I got, I got four moldy. No. Two, three muddy, two moldy, one murky, one yellow. Uh, work on those, brain. Work on those a little harder. There's the exit. That's good to know. Oh, more wolves in the dark. I could turn on my lantern. That's a bit of a waste. You have limited lantern charge. But I could shoot it from here, then I wouldn't have to backtrack and waste turns. Mm, that's a point. Let's try it. Oh, it's not a wolf. Well. Sawed off. I have four shots with the... No, three shots with the sawed off, and that's it. I have... Uh, six and... I have eight shots with the revolver, and that's it. Boy. I have throwing knives. I didn't actually mean to do that. Uh, <laughs> compulsively hit F again. Shoot. Now I have to kill this corpse.
Now, last time, does it take a turn to turn the lantern off? It must. I didn't think this through too great. I was hoping he would drop back a square. Not sure why now. Um, well, I'm just going to whack at him. 50%. Well, I got to whack at this one. Where did you come from, you jerk? I don't have a pistol loaded. Dang it. I don't have any pistol ammo. Oh, I do. I have two bullets. Oh, great. And two wolves. That's probably not going to work out. Me. Now, they can move at least two squares a turn, so... Oh, shoot. Well, that's too bad. Dang it. Oh, there's another one. Two bloated corpses. And another wolf back there. Man... I th I must have been missing like where all the ammo's been hidden. I also wasted a lot of lantern light as it turned out. Well, that wasn't that wasn't great, but my main problem right now is that I'm low on ammo. I have thrown stuff though. Let's throw the hatchet. Oh, great. <laughs> just, just skied right past everybody. Uh, shoot. <laughs> Throw the dagger. Well, that did nothing. Throw a throwing knife. That was better. Oh, he didn't move either. That's handy. Wolf wants a piece of me. Now, somebody told me throwing knives are good in hand-to-hand. -hand. I should have asked that in Discord, because I don't understand. I couldn't figure out how to equip a throwing knife for hand-to-hand. -hand. Maybe I read it wrong. The, the Discord comment, I don't know. There's no... Oh, my gosh. This is going to get pretty rough. I mean, I got three sawed-off shotgun blasts. That should be enough to take out uh, these guys. And I mean, it should be able to get three of them, probably. I have zombie dust that I could use on wolves if I needed to, but I, I can take them on one-on-one -on -one in a hallway like this. So I, I should be okay. It just feels like a heck of a lot of jerks to take out. And what's the best way to... I guess if he adva if he advances, and he can't attack, so I should be okay. Except for that guy spitting at me. No, he got an attack. Hmm. I guess they just get two actions per turn? Yeah, because he got two attacks. So they just get two actions for every one of mine, I see. So they can either move twice or attack twice or probably move... Or Well, yeah, I saw that he moved once and attacked once when he moved up to me. The bloat, on the other hand, can only move once per turn, if that. Actually, I should check that. Maybe it'll tell me. They move slowly, so he may move only one square to every 
two turns for me. That's useful. So these wolves are mad that they can't get past this, this slow, bloated thing. Meanwhile, I can just keep throwing knives at him. Oh, shoot. I wish that had a chance to hit the wolf behind him. I think it might. Last throw a knife. All right. Oh, I did switch to the sawed off. That's good. Just you and me now, wolves, I hope. You ready? You ready to go at it, Fang and Mace? Fang and Spikes? I guess that's just... A, I could throw zombie dust, but I don't think I'll need to. Zombie dust would paralyze them very briefly, I think. <laughs> oh, shoot. Whoa. Now he can move two, I can move one. If I move, he might be able, I'm just gonna wait, come on. Dang it, come on. There you go. But there was a third and he ran away. I think there, was, yeah, there he is. I'm not gonna waste my sawed off ammo on him. But I do have a throwing knife now. It's funny how the throwing knives they go up to slot T after you throw one and you have more, but now I reset and I had to pick up new ones, so it's back to slot B. Ooh. I was thinking about, I wonder if apply lets you switch to the throwing knives, but they aren't listed there. All right, well, that wasn't so bad. Look at all this stuff I was throwing. Handy having stuff to throw. Oops. Oh, now there's a pylon. So there's a cultist probably to the west. I believe that's a pylon. These are re-added to the game. They were taken out before I started playing, so I've never seen one in my own game. I saw one. I was spectating um, an experienced player's game yesterday. Oh, gosh. He's actually a, a dungeon crawl developer. And I'm spacing on his name. Maybe I'll remember and put it in the description. So it's deactivated. I think if I walk up to it, it'll activate. A activate. And I don't know what those do exactly, but if I step forward, I'll be visible to this cultist. How do I want to handle the cultist? I don't have much ammo, so I could sneak by that grating and hand to hand him. That might be better. He's really going at it in there. I can't sneak by the grating. I mean, he's going to see me. But hopefully he won't blast me. Oh, he doesn't have a gun. Good. It's a cultist priest, so maybe the priests don't have guns. Uh, you want to kick that door open for me, stud? Uh, let me help you out. Well, that worked well. Pro Fangs Crodux, 8% XP. Man, you, oh, it fell right on me, that's why. Okay, let's activate this thing. The pylon lights up with a humming noise. I am out of sight. A two-pronged pylon turns creatures invisible. 
cool. Oh, so there must be different shapes of pylons. So this is a two pronged one. Wow, this fountain is a deep one. Holy moly. That was a pretty good deal. That lowers your shock by 5% each chug. Pretty sweet. Uh, ah. Well, I'll live. I hope. Ah, uh, so yeah, I did spot that from actually one tile. Well, yeah, one tile diagonal away. That's good to know. I, I was a little concerned about whether that actually would happen. Let me go pick all this stuff up, though. Another moldy potion. Three moldies, three muddies. Tiger, that's good for throwing. Oop. Uh, what am I standing on? Leather jacket, one armor. Well, it could... They're pretty light, and it... So wait, now I got, what, two flak jackets? And a leather jacket? Oh, well. Where's the leather jacket? Uh, leather jacket is only 1% weight, so that's that's fine. Fiery potion, all right. There's a cultist with a rifle or something. Winchester. Well, if I kill him, I'll get ammo. Should I blast him? Well, so what I've also been told and seems to have been borne out in the little I've, I've seen it since then is that <clears throat> if you're, uh, you know, f foot to foot with a an enemy, they will not, and they have a gun, they won't fire it. They will use it as a melee weapon, which is distinctly to my advantage. So I don't have to worry about him blasting me, I don't think. Although I think I've been point blank blasted by cultists with... Sawed off, although I guess I can't swear to that. It's quite possible I was not toe-to-toe -to -toe with them when they blasted me. In fact, I'm pretty sure in at least one case I'm remembering where I got killed that way, I was not immediately against them. Oh yeah, they like their kicks. That's another tip that people have been repeating in the Discord is have your back to a wall because what they like to do, and that I guess goes to the, to the, you know, them not shooting you when they're right up against you is they will instead use their kick they can kick it like you can I keep forgetting to try kick kicking opponents in combat like you can kick a door with W they kick you and then that knocks you back away from them and then they shoot you because they get kind of a free turn because you basically lost your turn flying backwards a square but if your back is to the wall you don't lose that turn and the wall turned red like like it was splattered in blood, but either I took no damage or I took one and it already regenerated for me thanks to my trait. Anyway, now you're in trouble, buddy. Oh, and you're paralyzed from the spiked mace. Wow, you got owned. <clears throat> okay, well, that's another gun for me. It's going to be heavy. And yes, I'm right up at 100%. I have it? I've never, I've never managed to get much use out of Winchesters, but with my new appreciation for a firearm, a hit chance in this game, maybe I will find how to do that now. So Winchester rifle, four shots. Accuracy penalty at close ranges. So that could be bad. So I might want to use the shotgun until I actually spot someone. Because if I came up right against somebody point blank, I might be at a disadvantage if I had the Winchester. I mean, it's plus 15 to hit normally, which, so how much is it? 
worse if you're toe to toe. Well, we'll just go with the shotgun for now. Oh, gee. Um, I do have to drop something. Well, I don't have any ammo for the darn revolver, so that gets the heave ho. Now, if I wade through that water, I'll make noise. Ah, because I am Mason. So this is a good spot for the rifle, because he doesn't see me. Oh, except... Yeah, only 18% chance to remain undetected. So if I take a turn switching to the Winchester... You will see me. I don't think I can dodge out of sight. Maybe I could. If I step back one, because I didn't see him until I moved here, right? Uh, and he's out of my sawed-off range. I still have a good chance to hit, but it'll do half damage, which is still pretty good from this thing. But I'm going to try stepping back. Ah, oh, he saw me. It didn't work at all. But he didn't get a spell off or anything. He's, I think he summons rats, though. Uh, I forget if that's him. Um, all right, well, I'm going to switch to the Winchester. Which is where? There it is. Ah, oh, shoot. Does that took two turns to switch to the Winchester? Only 60% hit chance. Oh, because he's too close? Is this really too close? This sucks. But if I back off, if he doesn't wade through the water... What does he do anyway? Oh, Kazai is a woman. I keep thinking Kazai is a male, a man's voice, or name. Uh... Okay, how about now? Now I have 90%. It's just out of uh, the two short range. I was uh, I, That's a pretty long short range for the Winchester. Jeez. Just about perfectly matches the ideal range of the sawed-off, I suppose. I got cursed. I'm going to have a worse chance to hit now. And now I can't even see because I... Uh, Oh, that rat damaged my flak jacket. What the heck? Oh, it's a brown jenkin, not a rat. Brown jenkin is just a tougher rat. Forty percent chance to hit. I think that's partly because of the. 20% chance with the Winchester, man. Oh. I gotta get out of here. Um. Uh, not, not a great combination of things. If I had just blasted... Well, no, I couldn't have done much damage to her with the sawed off, so... I mean, so that... Uh, if I'd been wandering around with the... With the Winchester out, then I... Wouldn't have had that problem. I don't know. Well, anybody who wants to step through there is going to get blasted. I hope this curse doesn't last too much longer. Cursed. Minus 10% on two hit evasion, stealth, and searching. Minus 5 
five percent chance to fail when reading spells or casting spells. So it's pretty bad. Pretty bad thing to have on you. But usually they don't last too long unless you've done a gong, unless you get it from a gong, in which case it's permanent until you get blessed, as far as I understand it. Uh, anything else I can prepare for here? Oh, my flak jacket got damaged. So let me put on my better flak jacket. Yeah. I don't think Kazaya can... Three turns left? Jeez, it takes forever to change armor in this game. What was that, like five or six turns just to put on a flak jacket? I... I should probably just drop that other flak jacket at this point. It's taken up 8% weight. Yeah, who wants to come through? They've probably forgotten me, except for Kazaya. But she doesn't seem in a terrible hurry to follow me. Was Kazaya undead? I, I don't think she was. I could use, of course, the Rod of Cloud Mines, and that might make her forget me. I might as well. Except there might be a better time to use it. So I'll wait. Got throwing knives, got the Winchester. Got a hatchet, a bunch of daggers to throw. Got dynamites and four Molotovs. Could certainly make it a bit of a party in there. I don't think I'll need to though, I mean. Should I just open this and pop whoever's out there? Hopefully it's Gazaya and I can just point plank her a couple times. No, she summoned regular rats. Huh, it's not telling me a hit chance on these regular rats. With the gun. Well, come on through, rat. Oh, jeez. There's Kazaya. That's kind of what I wanted. 50% chance with the melee. Eighty percent chance with the sawed off. Well, you're getting both barrels, Kazai, if you can take it. It'd be ninety if I wasn't cursed. She got away. Shoot. I could blast this rat and chase her, but uh, I hope she doesn't heal. Oh, mine worm worm mask. Come on. There she is. I can't shoot her now, though. Oh, yeah, I can. Shoot. Yeah. Shoot. And I'm out of shells. I need this rat out of the way. Get out of the doorway, you jerk. Yeah, good luck opening that door, Snake, with the, without opposable thumbs. Uh, I hope. All right, get the Winchester. Man, Kazaya is very evasive. That's interesting. I mean, she, she was sort of stupid to come up point blank, but every time I shot her, she was out of there. Maybe I should have thrown some zombie dust, although I suspect... Um that if I shot her, she would become unparalyzed anyway. I don't know. How long 
long is it going to take? Is it two turns? One turn, maybe? Oh, and I have an infection, which the medical bag can... Five turns? Uh... Okay. Everything... All these little tasks, changing, putting on a flak jacket and curing an infection take a lot longer than you think, I guess. In the heat of combat... Um, I still want to throw dynamite in there, which I guess I could do, right? I could, I could open the door, light a stick of dynamite, throw it in, or if I was confident in my ability not to blow myself up with the lit dynamite, I could light it, open the door, and then throw it in, but I blew myself up with a stick of dynamite two sessions ago, so I'm not real tempted to risk that. But I don't think I'll need to. I, she's She should be almost dead. If she is healed up, then I will use dynamite. If if I find that she is healed. All right, I'm going to pop the door open. May, although maybe I can get her close. I don't want her closer. I have a Winchester. Okay. Oops. I wanted to open the door. I thought there was a command. Maybe there isn't. I thought it was O for open door. <laughs> Wishful thinking, I suppose. Or maybe, maybe I could just kick it, but that might break it down. I don't want to do that. Well, shoot. I guess I'll just push forward. Will that move me into the door? Or will it keep me here and just open the door? She's not there anymore, either. There she is. did kind of heal, I think. Okay, I think it's going to be time for, uh... Vampire bat? Holy snot. I think it's time for some dynamite. My shock's at 75. Possibly I have some potion that would cure shock. I do know where the stairway down is. I want to get Kaziah, so it's dynamite time. But with the rats there, if I open the door, they'll run in here. risk it blowing up in my hand, but what if they hit me? Can that cause me to drop it? <laughs> I think that's less likely. I think you have two turns to throw it after you light it. And somebody was saying there's a like it makes a sizzling noise in the in the message readout as it's burning and if there's like somehow you can read from the number of Z's or something how close it is to blowing up. And I've forgotten exactly what that is. So, I think I'm going to open the door first. Okay, then we're going to activate a stick of dynamite. So, that's the first turn of being lit. It's F and five Zs and three asterisks on both sides. Hopefully, I can throw it over the rats, yes. Okay, it's going to blow up soon. <laughs> um, no more Winchester ammo. No more sawed-off ammo. Do I guess I don't have any firearm ammo, do I? Or wait, no, I, well, I have two more Winchester shots. And I got a bunch of throwing stuff. I could... Just ditch the shotgun, I suppose. I 
Gonna wait a turn. Hopefully that TNT will blow up. Oh my gosh, she she must have gone around. Well, that is not gonna get her. I have no idea how injured she is. Now with the Winchester, 50% hit chance. With melee, 60. Well, melee it is. There. Okay, that was the dynamite. I didn't know what the heck that was. Oh, I'm terrified, so I can't melee her now. So now, ah, oh, shoot. Well, I have things to throw. She, uh, she's proving very tricky. Let's see, throwing knives 2 to 6. A spiked mace would do 2 to 14, maybe, if I threw that. I could throw zombie does. Let's try that. She cursed me, so that didn't do squat. Is she undead? She's a shriveled hag. She's not undead. Black blood, but... Wait. Yeah, well, maybe she doesn't qualify as living, so I don't know. Or maybe she's just tough. So yeah, terrified I cannot melee attack her anyway. What to throw? Hatchet? Zombie Dust did nothing. Oh, I see. Anything I throw moves up into the, the T slot temporarily. T for temporary, T for throw. So I'll throw a hatchet. It's easy to hit with potions. Whoa. What was that all about? I thought I blew her up with a hatchet, but I don't think I did. I just, she had some sort of blast paralysis thing. Oh, or it was that. Oh, this is really bad all of a sudden. Those things, I saw somebody doing a, a playthrough and there were some of those, and it was bad. And that was on a deeper level. Well, I have I have gone awry by letting Kazaya run rampant here. Okay, so it's not clear if they're undead. I could read a manuscript of healing. Oh, only forty five percent chance to hit. And I'm wounded. Manuscript of healing. Bayaki missed me, fortunately. Now it hit me. I I wish I could see a health bar for Kazaya, but maybe that means she's undamaged. This is bad with the Bayaki here. I wish the Bayaki was not here. Good luck with that. I could try to run into the other room. Then they get at least one attack on me. Probably two. I could throw some dynamite down the tunnel behind her. It'd take a while to explode. Shoot.
can't see up there, obviously. I don't know if I can throw it there. This could be messy. So, is that my dynamite exploding? Ah, uh, I don't know. Well, I underestimated Zion Mason. If I should have just gone all in on her at the beginning, I suppose. Instead, I backed off and nothing was really working right. And she got around behind me. I don't suppose I can see the map. Well, shoot. That went poorly. Well, that was my tactical error, was uh, trying to play with Kazaya Mason. And it was all because I didn't have the Winchester out to begin with. I did get some sawed off shots in on her, but they did, they didn't take her down nearly as much as I hoped they would. And then she, she outflanked me. That was the terrible part there. That was, and then she summoned that thing. And so it was, oh boy. I wonder if she just starts, if you let her live, if she just starts summoning worse and worse creatures. Because, I mean, at first she just summons normal rats. They're not really dangerous. I think I probably did blow myself up with trying to throw that dynamite there. Although it shouldn't have blown up that fast, right? I don't know. I'm a little confused about that. I'm confused about those blast things that kept going off. I mean, one was my TNT in the other room, yes, but then there was the thing... I... Well, I still have a lot to learn about this game, obviously. Um... See, that's... I mean, I was being told in the Discord that I should use guns more. Obviously, they have a good two-hit chance, but in this run here, I was... I was my problem there was a, a good deal. It was that I was, I was out, of, out of ammo for the most part. So I don't know about that advice. I think... I mean, I'm obviously playing wrong in other ways, but... I think I'm not going to just use firearms quite as much as I have in these last two playthroughs. I'm going to use melee when I'm pretty confident I can take the opponents at hand. I'm going to stick to melee because I can't spend ammo as much as I have been. That is, that is definitely leading me into to tough situations. It's making tough situations tougher, not having a good selection of ammo left. So that's a thing. It does seem like if I did get a chance to pick between training gun skills or melee skills, I would probably go with gun. But then still use melee when, you know, when you can get away with it to conserve ammo. Because in, in the Discord, I mean, <laughs> maybe I should just stop listening to Discord tactical advice or some things, but... I mean, they certainly know more than me, and they know a lot of helpful tips, but I'm probably doing things wrong. But they were saying I should be shooting guns way more often, and and now I've been trying that, and I'm probably doing it wrong. I'm doing something obviously wrong that, that they would not have advised me to do, but I 
I think I'm trying to use guns more when there's a better two hit chance, which is almost always. And now I'm running low on ammo, so and getting into trouble because of how low I run on the ammo. So that's uh I can't use that much ammo. That's all there is to that. Well, before that Kazaya encounter, I was uh, so, well, I was run so that was the problem. I was I think was that I was running dangerously low on ammo. And then I ran into Kazaya and all kinds of she summoned all kinds of things. I didn't have the right kind of gun ready mostly because of the ammo situation. I wouldn't have been walking around with a sawed off probably if I had had pistol ammo. Maybe I would have. But I think this this has taught me not to walk around with a sawed off if I can avoid it. With the sawed off equipped, I mean. Because if I do hit a big room, or I guess I would have to think about it if I do get into a big room. But I could have shot her with the sawed off. It's not like that was. No, I probably should have just shot her with the sawed off. I don't know. Gotta figure that stuff out. All right, well, thanks for watching. But it's time to escape to reality. Uh, the next the next time I have a opportunity to do a bonus episode like this one, it will be Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, another roguelike, a fantasy roguelike this time. Um, and, uh, and I'm alternating between Crawl and Infra Arcana, so then the next one after that would be Infra Arcana. Hopefully I'll be able to do that. This is... Friday night. Hopefully I'll be able to get a uh, crawl episode on Saturday and uh, an Infra Arcana episode on Sunday and get those uploaded overnight and posted on the YouTube channel the next day. Of course, I'm also doing fighting game episodes every day. Every day that I can manage. Um, so that uh, that may be what's coming up, hopefully. And that's all for tonight, though, so thanks for watching, and good night.